how dynamic can he be alongside the guy I talked about earlier in right. the show, Curtis Samuel, both super speedy, both super versatile. You know, this is that offense because Cam Newton is so good at what he does when he catches a rhythm, being that he is one of the more efficient passers when he's on fire, and then he can turn himself into one of the best running backs when he leaves the pocket. This could be the most exciting offense in all of football. You look at Funches, you look at Benjamin, if Benjamin can get his weight down and get back to really being where he needs to play at. But Christian McCaffrey, Curtis Samuel, these are the two guys I'm going to keep my eye on. Whether they're in the backfield or in the slot, both of them kind of moonlight as the other position. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey is one of the better route running running back. Curtis Samuel, you just said it, Mayock had him at what, number five? Five running back. On his board at running back. So they're going to add a lot to this offense. And then we keep forgetting about Jonathan Stewart, who is the ultimate down nose, three yards in a cloud Olson, of dust Nate. running back. I need to add to the offensive line because you can get all those weapons, but Cam's got to stay yeah. upright, right, and yeah. help that running game thrive. So they did address that in the second round, and they also added Matt Khalil, which was a big Yeah, big Khalil deal. was big. And I look at this offense as a whole, Kay, and Russell Shepard was Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry's quarterback at LSU. They brought him in from Tampa. He's a wide receiver in the NFL, so there's a little razzle-dazzle there. Joe Webb actually started a playoff game for the Minnesota Vikings at quarterback. He's a wide receiver on the team, a little razzle-dazzle there. Suddenly, you have all these multi-purpose guys who, if you put them out in the backfield, if you put them out wide, it's a headache. Now, Kyle Shanahan, I'm confident, would have a blast with these guys. For sure. I think some of these other offensive court I'm curious to see what Mike Shula does. Yeah. Because they have been a handoff to Jonathan Stewart, handoff, you know, to D'Angelo Williams, cloud right. of dust, you know, Cam leans in. Greg Olson, yeah. What do you got? Let's see. Is it razzle-dazzle? Is he the guy to pull the, to pull the levers so. and make it happen? Because, listen. They're either going to be the most exciting offense in football or the fourth most exciting offense in their own division. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we keep talking about Shula and what he's going to do with this offense and if he can come up with a game plan each week to use all these weapons. Another thing we're not talking about that we're going to pay attention to is Cam Newton and can he deliver the ball in those small intermediate spaces. We know he can deliver a bullet 50 yards down the line or in the red zone, helmet or higher to Greg Olson, but can he deliver the ball with that subtlety and that touch yes. right in front of him. Yeah. We're talking five, seven yards out the backfield when these running backs are these running back yeah, slash receivers thrive on release. I feel like this offense has missed that since Steve Smith left years yeah. and years ago, and he doesn't have to chuck it all the way but down. that's to easier said receiver. than done. Some quarterbacks do it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. Other quarterbacks struggle with those intermediate throws. Great stuff there. Good. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mr. T-Money, 1993. Man, my thoughts on this video, uh, I think, yeah, McCaffrey and Samuel can definitely be two special weapons for us. Uh, we can get the ball in their hands. Um, as far as the offensively, like, we could be last. I mean, honestly, I mean, if, if things don't go the right way for us, they could be. I mean, I feel like our offense, I feel like our teams in general in the NFC South, man, I think that we have a lot of good teams. I think top to bottom, this may be the best division in football this year, is my honest opinion. I mean, in, in Atlanta, you got Matt Ryan and Julio and Sanu and Taylor Gabriel and all them guys. Uh, just going to have to figure out how they're going to transition with their new offensive coordinator with the Saints. Of course, as long as you got Drew Brees, you're always going to have a nice offense. Uh, Mark Ingram, Adrian Peterson, all them guys in their backfield now. Tampa adding Deshaun Jackson and adding uh, O.J. Howard. and You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, I can see that, but even if we were last in offenses out of the South, I think we'll all be pretty high, so I don't think that will necessarily be what would make us have a bad year. But McCaffrey, I mean, he's going to get his opportunities. He's going to get his opportunities to touch the ball. Samuel, I think, is really going to end up being probably our third receiver this year, um, replacing Tay again, speed, uh, his ability to run after the catch, I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what Curtis Samuel can do. I know he's still making that transition to wide receiver. Um, the, that's mainly my only thing is not even a route running. It's just sometimes he can be a body catcher. But other than that, I'm good on that, man. Uh, as far as Cam being able to make those passes, I think he will. I think he'll take a lot of pressure off of Cam. Uh, I think he will still have those moments where he shoots for the big plays. Uh, but... I don't see Cam being a problem if this offense isn't looking that good this year. But other than that, that's just my thoughts on this quick little video. Uh, this is your boy, Mr. T-1993. Tune in for more. Check me out on Twitter, t Muhammad 23 as well. Other than that, we out. T-Money Productions.